look David, at how she was raised. There's gonna be some Asian guys yeah, mad yeah, yeah. about this, dude. I'm just mad at the Asian girls who think they're white. This guy is a complete nightmare. City or a boy, billabong. city boy. A lot of women in America, they want you to have a Yusuf in you. They want you to have some Yusuf moments. I know what the right answer is, but I can't give you the right answer, bro. I'm a free spirit. Welcome everybody to the Hot Pop Boys. David and Andrew here, and we are going to be analyzing Jubilee's viral video, Asian Dad Chooses Date for his daughter. Yeah, I knew this was a banger when non-Asian YouTube commentators made full reaction videos. This went viral on Reddit. So many people sent it to us wanting our takeaways, wanting our analysis, and I'll say this. Anytime there is something trivial that could spark deeper discussions that people don't normally wanna have, I'm here for it. Hey, and also anytime there's any sort of OCABG on YouTube, it's always interesting. Anyways, guys, if you're interested by our analysis, please hit that like button and let's get into the first clip. Um, my name's Nikki. I grew up in Orange County, California, currently a full-time student in San Francisco. Do you think your dad knows your type? No, I do not think he knows my type at all. Perfect guy for Nikki. In my eyes, we're expecting family person, not out there partying in a lot. Once in a while, I'm okay with that, but not every weekend. Have their goal, like what they're looking for in the future for themselves, not just for Nikki at first, because if they don't have any goal, so you lost. I'm still young, you know? I, I'm looking for some fun, adventure. Oh man, right off the bat, you see the generational differences. Obviously the dad is looking for somebody more mature, grown, long-term. And of course, she's got blonde hair. She's got a septum piercing. She got the OC Viet Twang that's like not with the old ABG, AZN gangster days, but you know, there's more modern fluid, like kind of ditzy whitewashed OC vibes where I she's like, my dad doesn't even know what I want. I tell you, if a girl talks like this with this accent, she is Americanized. I can tell you that right off the bat. David, she's studying in San Francisco. Is it pharmacy or nursing? Uh, it's one of those two, for sure. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice and to your meet name you. is? Yusuf. Yusuf. Born and raised in Egypt. Right. Um, traveled around for a bit. Ended up out here in California. Okay. For fun, I'll be surfing or skateboarding. Uh -huh. You just want to go and just pack and take off without saying anything or any to anyone. <laughs> if I ever find the chance, will yeah, I take I mean, it? Yeah, I mean, like, if you're, like, adventure when you thinking, like, okay, I'm going to go to, like, China and just pack and go. See, the right answer, I say should maybe. say no. I would never just leave without telling anyone. But, I mean... Backpacking in China sounds kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, um, just like living my life, doing my thing, you know, it's just like, just good vibes, dude. Hey, you gotta give it to Yusuf though. He is being honest. He said, hey, dad, I know what the right answer is, but I can't give you the right answer, bro. I'm a free spirit. He looked like he w walked straight out of like a Stussy ad or like a Vans ad city or a boy, Billabong. City boy, city boy. No, he, listen, he's being honest, but yeah, I could tell you right off the bat, man, this dude is handsome, all right? He's like ambiguous looking, uh, uh, ambiguously ethnic looking. So I'm just like, yo, this guy's got it going on. He's clearly charismatic and he clearly knows what he's bringing to the table. And, and trust me, he gets attention from women, I can tell you that. And not only that too, you gotta understand like what lane he's in. He's not trying to be your Gordon Gecko, like liquidity, like Wall Street dude at all. He's playing a whole other like skater, like, yo, I'm just like, I'm model i'm an actor you know just like live life day by day that's a whole different lane that's not your problematic like i'm trying to rule the world through equity bro he's more playing like the cool stoner you can find me on the wall of pack sun or the van store let me tell you this for an asian dad who is thinking about a long-term husband for his daughter this guy is a complete nightmare what's your name wilson wilson yes how are you wilson i'm doing good <laughs> <laughs> tell me about yourself myself I'm born and raised in Singapore. My parents are from Indonesia. Currently, I'm a junior at the University of Southern California, studying computer science. Oh, very good. Oh my God, my Singaporean brother, don't let these girls get you down. Okay, Wala man. Wee, Wilson. Different stories for different folks, yeah. I mean, listen, guys. Wilson, by all means, seems like he comes from a family with money. All the indications are there. Chindo, Chinese, Indonesian, from Singapore. I'm studying thinking, at USC. Right? Studying computer, computer science. science like, hey, maybe I just get a feng job. It's kind of easy. But then if I really want to push myself, maybe get some shares, then I go join startup. Um, I'll say this. He seems more like the face 
of almost like a tutoring or a Chinese language learning app. Whereas Yusuf seems like the face of like urban outfitters. Like he's like on an ad at Urban Outfitter. So, I mean, you got like completely different lanes right here. I mean, this is just a good boy from Singapore. Listen, he's stagging, standing with the hands behind his back, speaking to Mr. Tommy Tran as if that is like Lee Kuan Yew. You know, he's just like, yes, sir. Yeah, I want to do this. And this is who I am. Listen, this guy is not a bad looking dude. He has a really good smile. He's tall. And he comes from a good family. I can tell you this, in Asia, in Singapore, where he's from, he's probably ranking a 7.5 or an 8. But maybe in America, when you're putting him juxtaposition against surfer dude Yusuf, who's like a model actor, it's going to be tough. He's, he's probably looking more like a 5. Yeah, I mean, in Singapore, Wilson's probably not going to do bad. He's probably going to jump from like a 6 to a 7.5. In America, due to the coolness factor, he's probably getting decelerated to like a 6 or a 5.5 especially in her eyes. Started from the bottom now. <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Dad's gonna come in now. Come next time. Oh, the results came out. The dad ranked Wilson near the top. Yusuf at the bottom. I think the only reason he didn't rank Wilson at the very top is he didn't want to seem racially prejudicial or discriminatory or preferential. And then Nikki, the daughter, ranked Yusuf at the top and Wilson all the way at number five. And I think that that's what got the internet triggered. Either way, I think the Manosphere, you know, guys were commenting because they're like, oh, look, girls classically choosing the cool F-boy stoner over like this guy who's about to be rich, but he's a nerd, but he's on his P's and Q's. And then I think the Asian guy internet was like, dude, Asian girls always publicly ranking Asian men in the last place. So disrespectful. Yeah, I mean, I think this is an interesting conversation for people like we don't know exactly what Nikki is thinking or if she did any post interviews, but a lot of people are speculating that she's like a self-hating Asian, but she grew up in OC, so I think she grew up around Asian guys, but I think if there was a Kevin Wynn in the dating pool, I think he ranks higher than Wilson. I just don't think this is her type of Asian guy. Now, I do think it's a little foul. She ranked him at the lowest. I don't know. Clearly, he is very much not her type because she's really not looking for him. I mean, let's be honest. I think there's some racial aspects of it too. Not that there's not every single type of Asian guy and like every ethnicity, but I would say Wilson is for sure more of a Chinese guy stereotype. Whereas like Korean, Viet, Filipino guys, I would say they would have a higher ratio of your Kevin Wynn guys who like really spend a lot of time morphing themselves, but also like being more what like modern urban outfitters, Pac Sun festival girls want. Oh man. I was looking forward to going to Singapore, man. Those hawker stalls look so good. Ah, the chicken rice, man. I watched it on YouTube. Obviously, seeing the dad's ranking and the girl's ranking be very, very different is very interesting. And that's what caused a lot of the controversy, David. But let's go through some of our favorite comments. And some of them were kind of heated, but some of them were very insightful. The first comment was like, damn, man, this girl is every dad's nightmare. He seems down to earth, honest, and easy to talk to. And his daughter just ended up a basic party girl. And then other people were like, hey, man, that's the world we live in with social media and all these celebrity influences. You can raise your daughter right and try your hardest. And she might just end up a party girl looking for quick fun from hot guys. All right, I think this is making a lot of assumptions that, listen, Hey, Mr. Tommy Tran seemed like a really cool dude in this video, but that doesn't mean he like raised his daughter a certain way. I'm just saying like, you know, you raise your daughter in America. She becomes very Americanized. You name her Nikki. You got a son named Travis. Those are very American names. Um, this is likely to happen. But is this so bad, I guess, is a question out there. You well, know? not only that, it's the OC too. Like, obviously, we're from Seattle. I'll tell you this. Being raised in Seattle, there's a lower likelihood. Obviously, it, there's still a likelihood that the girls end up being party girls because there's no party culture in Seattle. Andrew, the next comment was from, like, a lot of angry guys or angry Asian guys that are like, dude, girls are always making this type of short-term mistake when they're young. In 30 years, they'll be like, yeah, I was young and dumb. Everybody makes mistakes because they're going to come crying back back to Wilson because Wilson's going to have the bag and he's going to be rich. I think that this is false because I think Wilson, not saying he's not a bad catch. Listen, I think Wilson's going to do fine in his life. He seems like a really nice dude. And a lot of girls out there would like to date Wilson. I think that Wilson at no point in his life or Nikki's life, are they a good match? Because I just think personality wise and just culture wise, it's actually so different. I don't think Wilson's going to be looking for Nikki 
in seven, eight years either. And I don't think Nikki's going to be looking for him. Um, because I think this is a false like idea that a lot of guys have that just because a girl rejects you when she's young, that she's automatically going to like you when you're a little bit more established. I mean, who's to say that you're going to want her anyways? Uh, I for sure might think that he wouldn't be ranked in fifth place yes. in 10 years, though. I think she might will. rank like three or four. In seven or eight years, I think Nikki will appreciate and respect the Wilsons a little bit more, but that doesn't mean she's going to get with Wilson. Of course, the next one comes through from, you know, Asian identity or like the angry Asian male internet where it's like, dude, Asian women are always going on these shows on Jubilee and picking Asian guys last or just not picking an Asian guy at all. So typical. Oh, man, it's so tough, man, because uh, obviously I don't think Jubilee set it up this way, but I will say this. If you're an Asian girl going on a dating show, and I've seen this happen in Australia, the Asian girls who choose to go on dating shows are usually not the type who are looking for an Asian guy. You're looking for something outside of your circle. You're looking to put yourself out there. You want to be seen, and you want to do something different. So, yeah, do I think that there's obviously a lot of Asian women out there who like Asian guys and appreciate and respect Asian guys? Hell, yeah, but... I don't think the ones that go out there necessarily are looking to meet Asian dudes. Listen, man, if you get crazy tattoos and like a septum piercing and you get, you know, uh, more exotic hairstyles and then you're this dude who totally looks like a CS major or an accountant, it doesn't mean that you don't have girls in your pool, but they just might be in the engineering program. They might be in the CS program. They might be in med school to be a doctor. You know what I mean? Not necessarily a nurse, no diss on nurses, but I'm just saying like, it's difficult because, like you said, there's no way that a girl like Nikki is ever looking for a guy like Wilson, possibly even in Singapore. And I'm not even saying on like a world scale that their values to the world or in society is like very different or that Wilson's might not end up being a little bit higher in a way, no diss to Nikki. But I'm just saying like, it's just not a good match culturally. And of course, you've got the classic... Dude, I can't believe Asian girls went on this show and picked him last place. This is so disrespectful to Asian men. Yeah, I mean, if she was trying to do something for Asian people, then she <laughs> ranking the Asian guy number five was a little bit mean. But at the end of the day, I don't think she's thinking about them. I don't think it's that deep. Um, not to say that there wasn't some type of like maybe anti- fob attitude in her because she's so Americanized and he does Wilson does have a little bit of that accent and he's clearly like a really nice mama's boy so she's just like ah oh, like I could probably get a Wilson whenever I want maybe but like I said I don't necessarily think that Wilson and her are ever a good match in any shape or form or at any point in time because just culturally they're very different long story short guys I think that like Asian guys, they're pretty mad about a lot of things, but I just don't know if this is the best example because there's a lot of other variables at play that make it like unclear why she made her decision. Andrew, there was even some disagreement about who to blame. You know, we're staying in sort of like the Asian guys that are mad at Asian girls like space right now. Cause some people were like, dude, I'm just mad at the Asian girls who think they're white. And then other people were like, nah, man, I'm more mad at girls like Nikki who still pick non-Asian guys, even though they're from like OC, from probably from like an all Viet or all Asian high school. That's even worse. And the other people were like, nah, man, I'm blaming the boba liberal girls who think that this is okay and they're not proud even though they date Asian guys, but they only date hot Asian guys. What about regular Asian guys? So I was like, oh man, there's a lot of smoke for everybody from this crowd. They don't even know who to be mad at. Yeah, I think it's tough. And sometimes this crowd is probably never going to get the answer that they want. I'm going to be honest. However, I will say this. Nikki, to me, she feels like an American girl. She's going to have plenty of dating options in America as a woman. That's fine. I think Wilson, though, if he splits his time between Asia and America, He's going to have a lot of options. He might not, he might have less options in America than she will. But if he goes back to Asia, I think he's seen as a good catch. Wilson, I got the plan for you. Associate yourself with the fan company. Let's go Apple. Let's go Facebook. Get transferred back to Singapore. You can hang out with your mom all you want. And you will be more like, you know, they'll just care about you more in Singapore. But, but why stop at Singapore, man? Go back to Indonesia. That's a bigger market. Then, of course, you have the guys firing right back being like, dude. It is totally not about him being Asian, bro. Wilson has like no chin, bro. His jawline's weak. He doesn't even lift. He's a total square like fob, dude. I mean, dude, if there was a buff Kevin Wynn with like tattoos, she totally would have picked him, but he just wasn't there in the episode. 
I actually think even if there was a Kevin win, I don't think she picks him number one. I think Yusuf is such a different product and a different type of guy than she's used to meeting. I don't even think they meet on the dating app, to be honest, because I think Yusuf swipes left on her. But I think that in this vacuum where she gets a chance, I guess, to go out with an Egyptian surfer stoner model in L.A., she's just going to do the thing that is so different, you know. But I actually think that, yeah, a Kevin win would probably rank higher. Yeah, she would more like end up marrying the Kevin Wynn, like you said, like the guy who's like five out of 10 Kevin Wynn, but like an eight out of 10 at a fang job. That would probably be her perfect vibe in like six, seven, eight years. David, what's your overall mm. takeaway, man? My overall takeaway is that it's tough because a lot of women in America, they want you to have a Yusuf in you. They want you to have some Yusuf moments. They want you to be adventurous when you need to be adventurous, but then reliable and have a good job. So there's always this balance that a lot of guys are trying to find, but it is hard. Right now, Wilson is a Wilson and Yusuf is a Yusuf. Can you be in between? I think that's what's going through a lot of guys' heads. Oh, Dude, for the Generation Z that I see that's like from like kind of those rich private school families, I think... Wilson's a little bit of a different case because he's from Asia. Being a nerd that like wears like Nordstrom's clothes and being proper, that's completely acceptable in Asia. You can even get a cute girlfriend doing that. In America, because there's so much subculture here and like some people call it downward assimilation or whatever, whatever, like it's, that game plan doesn't really work in the American environment like nearly as well unless you stay in fob circles. So to be honest, man, it's tough, like some people, especially from the OC, that's the home of like Jabberwockies, ABDC, all these Asians launching all these brands that are like hyper non-traditional, but still Asian a little bit at the end of the day. I mean, listen, ABG culture comes from the OC. You gotta be what the ABGs want, right? And some of the ABGs, they're so open-minded now, they want a Yusuf. I mean, because there's even different types of ABGs. She seems like a little bit more of like a whitewash one. I mean, my overall takeaways are, Andrew, that different people just like different things. But is she wrong? She's not she wrong. wrong. She's not wrong because wow, look David, at how she David, was raised. There's going to be some Asian guys yeah, mad yeah, yeah. about this. I mean, all in all, guys, you can't fault Nikki. What? Nikki David? is a girl from the OC with blonde hair and all of the kind of like festival markings of a girl from the OC who's like, wants to have fun and be an RN or be a farm tech or whatever. But she grew up eating pho. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And Wilson is like almost a guy from like 50, 60, 70 years ago, or at least 30, 40 years ago. I know the type, I'm still Chinese. I still spend time in Asia. That type of guy that Wilson is in Asia is he's definitely not like the top 10 out of 10, but he does quite well. He's six foot tall, he's rich, and he's probably gonna get a good job like way deep in the six figures. But in America, we have to understand, especially in the 20s, I mean, I don't even think it fully changes in the 30s, people care about subculture. And like you said, everybody's looking for that like hybrid BMW, a hybrid Lexus. Everybody's looking for a luxurious Tesla where it's really like up on all metrics. You know, they get what they want and then no downside and all upside, but it's very difficult to find. And I do think that a lot of young guys right now in 2022 that are Asian guys are trying to build themselves into that. And that's why a guy who can do computer science might get buff and get a broccoli cut right now because they're like, oh, the Nikki's of the world, that's what they want. So this video did go very viral and sparked a lot of conversations for a number of reasons. You let us know in the comments down below if we miss some. Of course, I generally think that women want a balance between a Yusuf and a Wilson, right? Want a stable job, that'd be cool, but to be a little adventurous, you know, be a little bit more free-spirited when you can. It's a hard balance to find. A lot of people are trying to find it right now. And Andrew, to circle back to your original point that you said way in the intro, People learn a lot and care a lot what ABGs think. You just didn't know that. Dude, they just do. Man. Every time an ABG says anything in a YouTube video, people care. You know why? Because they're considered sexy. That's why. Exactly. All right, guys. I know. Um, thank you, everybody. Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, we are the Hot Pop Boys. We're going to keep analyzing and reacting to videos. Let us know if you like these types of videos, too. Um, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.